Welcome to sports. This is no trick fans. We have reached the second to last week of the high school football regular season. But the Channel of Champs is treating you to some scary good matchups. We kick things off all the way up in Lake Providence as General Trask hosts St. Frederick for a district showdown. It's a must win for the Warriors to keep pace with Delta Charter for the District 2-1A title. Coming off that wild 84-82-4 overtime defeat to the Storm, the Panthers are ready to claw back. Second mud bowl of the season for St. Fred, so they know what to do. Run the ball. Jarvis Walker on the QB keeper. See you later. First drive, and it's 7-0 Warriors. A quick start for Chip Bilderbeck and his squad. Let's jump to the second. It's now 13-0. First play of the quarter. St. Frederick would add another score. Owen O'Neill takes the handoff, finds a hole, and finds the end zone. That makes it 20 to nothing. General Trask now trying to get back in it. Fourth and seven from the, just outside the 10. Pitch it out to Anton Davis. Gets close with the effort, but a turnover on downs. Huge stop by the Warriors. And then, check out this play. St. Frederick having to punt, or maybe not. That is William Patrick, his second game back from playing some baseball in this fall. Decides to take it into his own hands, or should I say feet, from his own 10-yard line. He's going to keep it, and he is going to go all the way. 90-yard house call for William Patrick. The LSU baseball commit making it 27 to nothing at the half for the Warriors. Patrick added a long touchdown reception to his stat sheet, and St. Frederick goes on to pitch the shutout 40 to nothing. Sets up a huge winner-take-all matchup next week against Delta Charter for the district title. Battle of the Rams out at Mackey Freeze Field. Bastrop and Richwood facing off for bragging rights. Now it has been a tough season for Bakari Geis' squad, still searching for their first win of the season, already down six to nothing late in the second quarter. Third and long, not going anywhere. Sacked by Marcus McClinton. Bashup is going to force the punt, but not so fast. It's a fake. Damian Moore tries to pick it up with his legs, doesn't get it. Turnover on downs. Guys, not pleased by that one. Bashup now second and long for the 25 after two false starts. Dylan Downs scrambles, and he finds Trey Mason, 15-yard catch. And that's going to set up a chip shot field goal by Witherspoon. That's going to end the first half. Tank Washington cracking a smile on that one. He squeaks it over, though. And the Bastrop is up 9 to nothing at the break. Richwood defense does hold Bastrop on the opening possession of the third. Trying to get something going offensively, but Kyron Purdy says, not on my watch. Comes down with the interception, and he takes it all the way back for the pick six. It is 16 to nothing, Bastrop. Rams do fumble the first snap of the next drive. Downs goes, comes out at QB, coming off with an ankle injury. Austin Davenport in. Different QB, it's that same result. Touchdown to Trey Mason again, 22 to nothing. Bastrop does improve to six and three on the season, beating Richwood 29 to eight the final. I've got a couple other shutouts to wrap up the night. Mangum back in the win column, 34 to nothing over Rayville. And Delhi dominates Tennessee 44 to nothing.